Hello and welcome to this video on SWOT analysis. In this video, we're going to be looking at how SWOT analysis can be used to help a business make strategic and tactical decisions. When I was growing up, a SWOT used to be a sort of geek. But in this context, in a business context, we don't mean that. In this context, a SWOT analysis is a tool that helps a business assess its competitive strength and the nature of its external environment. So we look at the strengths and weaknesses of the businesses and the opportunities and threats occurring in the external environment. So the SWOT stands for strengths, weaknesses, opportunities and threats. And strengths and weaknesses are where we focus on the business itself, so internally, and opportunities and threats are where we focus on the external environment. And so as a business, we want to maximize our strengths, minimize our weaknesses, take advantage of opportunities and try to avoid threats. And we can develop strategies that will help us do this, which is why it's a useful tool. So for example, strengths are things the company does well. So particular qualities that we have in our business, um, skilled, knowledgeable staff, if we have particular assets like good ideas that we've got patents on or excellent capital, these are all strengths internal to the business. Weaknesses, things the company lacks or doesn't do very well. So maybe things that our competitors do better than us. Maybe certain resources that are a bit limited or perhaps we haven't quite got uh, a clear, unique selling point. These will be weaknesses of the business, things we would seek to minimize with our strategies. So the strengths and weaknesses are internal. Opportunities and threats are external. So opportunities are things that are going on perhaps in the market. So maybe we've got few competitors in our area. That would be an opportunity for us to expand. Maybe there's changes in the demographics, which means there's an emerging need for our products or service. Again, this would be an opportunity that we can maybe take advantage of. So things go on in the wider environment and we could develop strategies to take advantage of this. Threats, where well, we might try and uh, calculate uh, threats from the external environment. So competition is obviously going to be a significant threat. Um, maybe changes from government, uh, changes in government regulations, press coverage, that sort of thing. And again, we might try and develop strategies that would help us um, avoid these threats or minimize their impact. So when we're looking at strengths and weaknesses, we're really thinking about things that will give us a competitive advantage. It's quite useful here for us to benchmark, to compare ourselves to other businesses uh, and look at our performance and say, you know, is that, uh, is that a strong performance or not? We often call these key performance indicators. So some examples of things we could look at for evidence might be our market share, our profitability, our efficiency, levels of brand recognition and loyalty, which we can do through surveys. Our market capitalization, our value and whether we're growing, if we are a PLC perhaps and we have a, a share price. And our reputation for quality, again, there's, there's ways we can research this. And we could use this to ascertain, you know, do we have a particular strength or perhaps do we have a particular weakness and have some evidence to back it up. And then, of course, we could take that and try and develop a strategy to, 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 to deal with it. Opportunities and threats, where well, we said that these are external to the business, these are to do with the external environment. So to try and identify them, we might go through our PESEL approach. We might look at political, economic, social, technological, legal or environmental or ethical issues and see whether these present us with opportunities or threats. Obviously, alongside competition, that's an obvious one to look at. So here might be an example for Tesco. If we look internal to the business, first of all, what are their strengths? Well, they are the market leader. That's a strength inherent to Tesco. Um, and they benefit from economies of scale. In terms of weaknesses, well, maybe they've identified here that their brand reputation is maybe not as strong as it could be and a lack of clear market positioning. Are we quality or are we cheap? So these are assessing their own performance. Looking externally, what opportunities are there for Tesco? Well, there's an opportunity they've identified here to increase their market share by focusing on the core market. So perhaps they've identified something here with uh, demographics or maybe to do with uh, social change. But their core market's opportunity for growth. This is a tactic that might um, help them achieve that or take advantage of that opportunity. 
In terms of threats, well, they've clearly identified here um, the problem with competition. So Aldi and Lidl, um, discounters are taking some of their market share and they're concerned about the impact that Amazon might have if they were to enter the UK market. So in evaluation, when we're talking about SWOT analysis, what are the pros and cons? Well, it's good in that it's a logical structure for us to understand. It focuses on strategic issues. It also encourages analysis, not just of ourselves but the external environment. Any negatives? We can be talking about a number of different things without really uh, identifying which is most important. Um, who is making this judgment? Who is accumulating this data? Is it really independent? Uh, are our strengths really our strengths or just what we think are our strengths? And also it can quickly become um, out of date. It's really just a snapshot at one particular moment in time. So in this video we've looked at SWOT analysis and we've seen how it can be used to help us make strategic and tactical decisions by identifying key issues. That's it. Thanks very much for listening.